Thanks for joining us here in St. Louis for this wonderful event put on by Kelly Chase, the NHL alumni. How does it feel to be here? How was last night? You know what? It's great. Uh, Kelly, and, and we can talk about Kelly for the next uh, yeah, three will. days about what he's meant to the NHL alumni, what he's meant in his fight with cancer on how he's been such a great uh, representation of how a cancer patient is supposed to act uh, and what he's done to step forward to try to help others, even though he's been going through a, a brutal treatment on his own. But but Chasers put us all together. He put the alumni, NHL alumni PA together uh, to have their event coincide with the game here. Uh, in St. Louis, so the NHL alumni were all here for a big gathering last night that was uh, wonderful for me because I've been kind of locked at home uh, pretty much for the last little while. So to get here and see uh, a lot of players that I played with but and against and just get a chance to, to be around the, the guys again was fun for me. Yeah, we, we, you know, we're unfortunately in the same club, and it's, it's obviously a, it's tough news when you get it, and it's obviously a thing that has been everybody's been affected by it in one way or another indirectly or directly you know, what does it mean when you get to be part of a community i know i was very thankful to be able to do what i did even prior to diagnosis and what does it mean to you to be part of the nhl alumni community and how they reached out is it in 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 your battle how much support and strength does that bring you yeah i think brian you know you experience it too it, it's you, when you when you first hear that news and you first uh, you know recognize the fact oh my gosh it's me uh, that has to deal with it uh, immediately you you turn to your teammates just like you would in a game when things get tough in a game you look at the guy next to you saying hey let's do it together and for me um, you know what you had gone through in, in recognizing you and mario and saku and guys that have were nhl players that had it while they were playing and were able to get past it and do their treatments and come back to play was inspirational say hey these guys did it and while they were still playing i'm done playing i'm i'm you know i got time to be able to do this without having to worry about getting back to my profession but the outpour of support from players that i went head to head against and, and didn't like and they didn't like me you know, uh, I saw a bunch of them last night. Bobby Basson's a perfect example. Me and Bobby used to go head to head every shift, bang, 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 bang. And at the end of the game, you know, I'd come out of the game, I would be black, and Bobby would have marks on his arms. And, and we're going, man, I didn't like playing against that guy. Last night he came and gave me the biggest hug and said, man, oh, man, I love playing against you and whatever else, and I'm there with you and I'm supporting you. And that's kind of what I feel is an overwhelming amount of support and love from teammates that I never had that because we played in the NHL and did something together, and they, you know, have had family members and friends deal with cancer, and they know what that means to be part of that uh, healing process and, and inspiration. Really, I can't thank the people enough. And Chaser is the one at the top of the list. Uh, he's the first one I talked to when I found out I had cancer, and uh, he's been unbelievable in helping me through this. He, he really is a remarkable guy. I, I, I never got a chance to meet him or even talk to him, and I heard he was going through what he went through, and when he was diagnosed, I had a chance to call him, and I was driving home from New Jersey. I had about four hours to kill, and thankfully I had four hours to kill because he can really go when he's chatting. Oh, but yeah. he <laughs> he was so committed on helping others. That was his first you know, order of business when he got his news. I was so blown away by that. And growing up a fan and watching the game, I thought of guys like Mario Lemieux and, and Jason Blake. When I got sick, he called me. Funny enough, Jason Blake and I had the same diagnosis. We played the exact same number of games in the NHL. Wow. I found that out the other day. Wow. It's such a wonderful community. We are competitive. We, we have a job to do when we're on the ice. But I just, I always got the feeling that when it was, when it was really time to care for somebody, whether it was a tough conversation or, or to build someone up, hockey guys always were there. And even if it maybe wasn't even necessarily the right thing to say, but they were doing their best to be there for one another. And I think, I think this weekend's probably a good example of that yeah. as well. Everybody I think, showed up. I think what you just said is why players are so proud to be represent, you know, players and, and NHL hockey. And when people say, man, hockey's the greatest game, my answer is you're darn right it is. You know why? Because the people that are involved in it and play it understand what being a teammate is and what being supportive is and what being loving is and caring and whatever all those words are. Uh, they just 
we just somehow get it as a group. And, and you know, you mentioned, and it doesn't matter generationally which group you played with. You know, last night I was with the alumni, and, and there were guys before me. Brian Trache, never played with Brian. Brian beelined to me as soon as he saw me and came across the room. And, you know, I'd met Brian plenty of times over the past, you know, but he knows what I'm going through right over there. And just, uh, you know, it just feels like we've always been teammates. We never played together. And I think that's what's special about hockey. Well, speaking of hockey, you're going to be behind the bench. I would love to be on the ice with you. I trust know. Me. I, I asked. I asked <laughs> if he was going to play because you know, no one knew. I think he'd want to. But I'm going to be on the ice. Yes. I got to get out there. Okay. Okay. I, I haven't played a shape? lot. I'm in fairly good shape. Okay. I'm not in. Give I'm not in games. What, NHL games. What are you going to give us tonight? I'll get whatever you need. Okay. I'll play some D. <laughs> All right. I'll play some wing. All right. Uh, I might pass a little in the first half. I'm going to hunt the puck a little bit in the yeah, second half. Yeah. Whatever the team needs, yeah. though, I'm going to do it. And I think it's going to be fun to see how everyone's all huggy huggy last night and getting it's, along it's, gonna, it's a game there's a scoreboard that's oh, yeah. gonna be going tick tick and we got a job to do. i just want you to know i know that okay okay i'll take out anybody okay do you tell them our other two coaches tell them our other two the coaches face-offs first. are going to be dialed too i'm, not, I'm worried about I'm, I'm working on you i'll deal <laughs> we with got garth brooks as my assistant sean pate actually i'm the assistant to those two those are our two co-head coaches i will be the assistant we'll see how they two. do i'll make i'll make some changes if i have to uh, thanks for taking time. This of was course. it's wonderful. It's wonderful to see you here. It's wonderful for me to be here. I'm thankful I get the chance to do that. And hopefully it's going to be a great night. We get the W. I'll put you on the ice as much as you deserve. Oh, you got to earn it, and you'll be out there. Fair enough. All right. Fair <laughs> enough. Thank you. Thanks, Brian.